Daniel had a 12 and we won't walk with Ray. Hello Daniel Pay 12 fans, in this episode we will be heading over towards the draw Driftville Drawbridge. First, we'll I need I want to battle this baker. To gain a little more experience. So our two other trainers you can fight, but I'm not gonna show you them now. But I will battle them in a future episode. Um I don't know when so I'm going to battle them, but um, I'm not. So I'm going to render my flame here, but because flame is a fire type and Pansia is also a fire type, I'm going to bring in Splash. My water type, really. Um, if um, there is a lot of trainers in one particular episode, that part will be sped up. And um, and um, it'll be better, really. Um, Hans here is really easy to beat with just a bubble beam, really, or a um, razor shell. Pan Sage is a grass type, so use a fire type Pokemon against it, or a flying type Pokemon. Either will do very nicely. I'm gonna use Sky for taking out this Pan Sage. Um, it's pretty easy, really. Your team of Pokemon that you chose should be either at similar levels to mine or higher, really. Um, just going to use a simple Vine Whip, rub it down to the um, Tranquil, which is the Flying type. I'm just going to give it a quick return now. So, it took out Pan Sage very quickly. 173 experience, Sky who loved 25, which is really just fantastic. First, I've um, got out a new team member for the team. Well, it's an old team member, it's my um, Forest, my Pantage. Um, because I just thought it might be useful to have a grass type of a party, really. Um, I'm just going to give it a return, because the return should pretty well destroy it. Uh, this is for me because it's got a critical hit, which is fantastic, really. Um, 208 Forest and Biko Gen was defeated. Oh my, it's a tasty battle. Hey, 640 for winning. It's quite good. Um, heading towards the west, past the champion Elder, you can fight them. And obviously, Chariot this way. Now, to contact him. It's me, Elsa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Now, watch this. It's the lowering of the drawbridge. So we can now head towards Driftville City. Oh, it just looks amazing, doesn't it, really? I have a gig, TV gig, so I've got to go with the gym leader in the next town, maybe. Got something to get used to. Right. What? I want to have a trainer. I'll prove I can be stronger and winning, even against the champion. Anyway, Charon heads off towards Driftville City and off onto Driftville Drawbridge. Sometimes above the bridge you can see shadows of third Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift down to the ground here too. And when you try to pick them up, you do um, pick some items and the Pokemon two per type Pokemon you can find on the Driftful Corbage if you find the shadows of those Pokemon is a Ducklet or a Swoner. Swanner. They're both at level 25. Well, no, actually, Dr Ducklet is level 25. I didn't happen to encounter any, so I can't really show you. But, um... You might want to just talk to the trainers. You don't really have to, but you know, 
just thought I'll do this while we're crossing the um, drawbridge. He mentioned something to do with the cold storage. We're now in Driftville City, which is the home of the next gym. So how about the city of pride and joy? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. <laughs> anyway, this is the direction you need to go in the kind of westerly direction. Oh, here's Cherry. You're a gym leader? What else is sort of talking about her? I'm playing, I'm gymming around these parts. And she's supposed no welcome now. Because when we lower that drawbridge, seen plasma guys, we put Don escaped in a rookie's. What a bother. You're grateful that we lowered the bridge. It's our fault that they escaped. Ye can say you won. Anyway, this is Clay. Um, he's a gym leader at Driftful City. And he kind of wants us to look for Team Plasma because they escaped. I tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Well, I suppose that's fair, but really. We have luck for Team Plasma, even if I haven't escaped. I can get stronger while beating a bullison. I'll go on ahead. Okay, um, in the next episode of Dan's Pokemon Rising Adventure, we will be looking for Team Plasma. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more Rising Adventure.